Okay, for today's lab, your materials are clear packing tape, clear nail polish, a blank microscope slide, a leaf, I used spinach since I happen to have some in the fridge, and a microscope. And the first thing that you're going to do is flip your leaf over. You have to make sure that you are working on the back side, underside of the leaf. And paint a small section of that leaf with the clear nail polish. You don't need to get it too thick. Try to keep it a little bit thin, but cover it completely. So there you can see how big of a section I've done. Okay, after the nail polish has completely dried, you're going to take a piece of your clear packing tape and cover that nail polish completely. You can press it down, especially if you're not planning to, you know, use this leaf if it's not on a live plant. You can really press it, but you can see that I made a little mark on my leaf, so. All right, and then you're going to take that clear nail polish that is now on your packing tape and you are going to stick it on your blank microscope slide. And you can trim it a little bit on the edges just so that it moves a little bit easier under the microscope. You don't have to trim it if you don't want to. But don't fold it back around or you'll have trouble looking through that many layers of tape on the microscope. So there's your slide. And we're going to take a look at it here on low power and on medium power and on high power. Okay, as always, we're starting on low power with the stage all the way down. And I'm bringing it up slowly until I focus on our object. Okay, so here's our slide. You'll see some bubbles from the packing tape, but you should be able to see a nice mold of the underneath of the leaf. Okay, so then we're going to switch to medium power because we want to get a nice close look at these stomata. And we're going to use, I just, I'm using the fine focus here to bring it into focus on medium power. You can use the course adjustment a little bit. And you can see those lip shaped structures. That's the stomata. And we're going to get a little bit closer here on high power. Okay, so I'm bringing it into focus, this time just with the fine focus. You don't want to use the coarse focus on the high power. And we're going to see if we can get one of those stoma in nice and clear. So we've got two here, I'll try to get one right in the middle. All right, so that's it. It looks like a pair of lips there. Those are the guard cells on the outside. And then the opening is a little bit darker in the center. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit clearer. And then we'll label it. Okay, on to part two, observing fermentation. Your materials for this part are going to be a zippered snack-sized bag, a packet of dry active yeast, a half of a little bathroom cup full of crushed cereal, any kind you want, and a full bathroom-sized cup of warm water. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut off my active dry yeast. I only need one packet, but since it comes in a set of three, I thought I'd show you that. And then we're going to open up the zipper bag and pour in the cereal 
and the warm water. It should be warm, not hot, and definitely not room temperature. And then I'm going to open up my yeast and I'll pour that into. Okay, and then we are going to close it up, get rid of as much air as possible, and we're going to squish it around, mix it all up in there so that it's really well combined. And then we're going to let it sit. And this is my time-lapse photography. I'm taking it about every half hour so you can watch what happens to the bag. You can see the bubbles are starting to form. The bag is starting to expand. It's getting tighter and tighter, more and more full of gas. And here you can see it from the side. So you need to explain in the lab worksheet why that's happening. And that is the end of this week's lab.